sheet pan macaroni and cheese to be exact. So I actually added two cans of evaporated milk to a pan and I am sprinkling in salt and some dry mustard. Love the flavor of dry mustard in mac and cheese. I try to always add it. Some hot sauce, of course. For sure. Ooh, it's really heating up in there. So I have three kinds of cheese that I'm going to add to the sauce. I'm gonna start with the good stuff. This fine cultured cheese from the south of France, mm. <laughs> or not. It's processed cheese from America. And then a cup of cheddar and a cup of Gruyere, which I think sort of elevates and cancels out the processed cheese. Don't you think, Alex? Oh, yeah. <laughs> At least we can tell ourselves that. And then I'm just gonna whisk black pepper. Okay, so this is the sauce. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> oh that should be illegal right there. <laughs> so I've been boiling mac and cheese. And I'm sorry, I've been boiling macaroni. <laughs> Why didn't you guys stop me? <laughs> I don't know, I kind of thought about it. Oh, I love this contraption. You know that phrase, farm to table? Yeah. Well, this is pan to pan. Oh, baby. All right. So I'm going to stir this around. Oh, my word. This looks tremendously delicious. I'm just going to let the macaroni sit in the sauce, and I'm going to make a cheese topping. So I've got the rest of the Gruyere, the rest of the cheddar, and Parmesan. All right, I got that topping mixed together. This is just a really cheesy topping. You can do breadcrumbs if you want, but I really don't think this mac and cheese needs it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so good. All right, so come to the oven, and I'm gonna show you a little trick, okay? I put this sheet pan in a 425 degree oven about a week ago. No, <laughs> just kidding, <laughs> a while ago. So it is very, very, very hot. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just spray the bottom, just for good measure. And then, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my Look. gosh, it's sizzling. Sizzle. That's the whole point. And wow. then not only do you get that sort of crispy surface on the top when it bakes, it also like gets off to a good sizzly start. Wow. Before you even put it in the oven. So, you know what's gonna happen next. <laughs> it had to happen, guys, it had to happen. Cheese everywhere. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, I love it, baby. I love it, I love it. Okay, back to the oven. Back to the oven we go. All right, so in it goes at 425 until the cheese is bubbly. It's gonna be heaven. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> Listen to that. OMG, the sizzle. <laughs> I mean, there's no excuse for this. No excuse at all. All right, so you don't have to sprinkle anything on top, but I love a little basil. I'll never argue with basil. Look. I will take the first serving. Oh, Alex. <laughs> Look under there. See, to me, this is the best of both worlds because I love baked mac and cheese that has a lot of like crusty cheese on top. And sometimes there's too much cheese underneath, but look at this. Sheet pan mac and cheese. Can I take a bite first, please? <laughs> I gave you life. Yes. Okay, thanks. Sure. <laughs> mm. Love it. 